We're always doing videos on New Braunfels, what it's like to live here, some of the neighborhoods, and also talk some real estate. And my friends, and my clients are always busting on me, Rod, when are you gonna do a video about Canyon Lake? So Matt and Sandra, today's video is for you guys. We're gonna talk about what it's like to live in Canyon Lake, favorite hangout spots, and some real estate. So stay tuned. We're bringing one of our agent partners on today. She actually lives in Canyon Lake, so she's gonna show and tell us all about Canyon Lake and what it's like to live here. Robin, what's going on? Hi, Rod. So this is amazing. I mean, we're on top of the, the dam right now. Yes. And this is the infamous Canyon Lake. What, what's, it, what's it like to live here? It's lovely. Um, we have so much stuff going on. We're on this wonderful, large, one of the largest um, man-made mm -hmm. earth dams. Uh, in the United States, and it was finished in, I think, the late 50s, early 60s. So this this is the, the Guadalupe River right here. Uh -huh. um, on the other side there, that's where it starts. So that's going to feed all the way back to all the recreation and fun going on in New Braunfels. But so this is our portion of it here at the lake. It's just stunning. It's so blue, and in the yeah. summer, it's so warm, as we found out last summer. Uh, so geographically, we're northwest of New Braunfels, about 20, 30 minutes, depending on where you're at New Braunfels. On a map, can you give us a sense of on the map, like when you, when you put into play New Braunfels, San Antonio, and Austin, where are we at? We are smack dab in the center of it. Um, Austin's a 45 minute uh, commute from here. Same with San Antonio. If you head west, we're gonna be further into the hill country and like the Texas wine country. Fredericksburg, Bernie, uh, Stonewall, and those areas are gonna be west of us. New Braunfels is, is uh, uh, to the east mm -hmm. this way. And so we're, we're just right in the middle of this wonderful part of Texas. All right, so let's talk about, you've lived here since 2008. Uh-huh, I moved wow. here from Austin in 2008. Yeah, So it's like difference. night and day. Yes. So let's talk about that. When it comes to real estate, if people want to do real estate in Canyon Lake, what are the overall options that they have? Like, is it is it old homes? Is it newer homes? What's What are the options? That's the great thing about out here. Um, we have a little bit of everything. Uh, it, you kind of come out here and go, do I want to live on the north side, which would be the 306 side, or do I want to stay over on the south side? Mm -hmm. uh, they both have different options going on. Uh, there's new communities, new build communities. We've got luxury communities. We have rural areas, horse properties. Uh, we have golf course on the south side. So it, it's just whatever you're into. If you want an HOA heavily restricted, if you want no restrictions and want to have a short-term rental or a weekend getaway, they have everything out here. Okay, so price ranges. Let's talk price ranges because I know they can be all over the map as they are in New Braunfels. So what are the, what are the price ranges in Canyon Lake? Um, it depends on how big you're looking for, but I think prices right now are starting around the 300s. Okay. And we're gonna go up uh, anywhere to 900 to a million. Okay, and then depending on if we're on the lake, what do those go for? Well over a million? Um, it, right now, the market at, has, has calmed down a little bit. Yeah. So you can get a waterfront property right now under 900,000. So you're, you're wow. gonna find stuff for 800,000 wow. all the way to 1.2 million. Wow, okay, so I'm looking at water and I'm thinking, man, if there's an investor out there that wants to buy a short-term rental or buy, purchase a, piece of property or a house and use it as a short-term rental, is Canyon Lake the ideal spot to do that? Absolutely. Yes, we have everything from single family to multifamily. We have condominiums out here. Um, you can uh, use Evolve. There's, there's many services too that help facilitate the short-term rental. You can privately do it, uh, but a lot of the neighborhoods out here do allow short-term rentals. All right, so that's the real estate part of Canyon Lake. You've been here, like I said, since 2008. So tell us, when you first moved here, what was it like? And then today, how has it changed? Wow, it's changed so much. When I got here in 2008, literally there was no HEB at the Loop in, in, in uh, New Braunfels. Wow. So we've got so much growth kind of coming into it. We have a lot more uh, medical facilities, urgent cares, Resolute Health. So we've had this great infrastructure to help support our community. And one of the striking things that I noticed uh, was there were no kids out here 
for me. And then when I had my son in 2010, uh, and I've just noticed all the development. I, I've, it's just a lot of children have been blooming out here. Which so you went fun. from virtually no kids to tons of families. Tons of families. So yes. are you seeing this growth, especially the last two years? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, especially in older neighborhoods that uh -huh. had, uh, they had a pocket of lots that were just still available. All of a sudden, people are building. Uh, there's a, a renaissance of new construction in some of these older neighborhoods. Uh, some of the ones that don't have a lot of HOA rules, those uh, have tons of new families coming mm -hmm. in. So where do families, where do people hang out in Canyon? Like, I mean, the obvious spot, obviously the water and the surrounding areas, but where are the, the hangout spots in Canyon Lake? We have the river as well. So there's a lot of family recreation going on there. We have Camp Finfo mm -hmm. right by Whitewater. Uh, it's a great, you could get day passes there. They have uh, water slides and, and a pool. Most of our neighborhoods have community pools within that too. So there's a lot of neighborhood hangouts out within mm -hmm. our community and that's fun. We have the Baja Barbecue Shack, which is a restaurant on the marina. Great place to grab a bite with the family. You can pull up on your boat, park there, get gas, grab a burger. We have uh, Canyon Park, okay. which is on the other side of the lake. Um, actually, it's right over there. Right. Um, they have day passes and lots of families come in from all over to access the swim beach and use their picnic tables and just have a, a get together for the whole afternoon. Yeah, this place is a blast. We came last summer and we did the jet skis. Yes. <laughs> we jumped in the water. It's like 84 degrees, which is amazing. Yeah. You can never get bored in Canyon Lake. No. Grab your whole family a kayak, and you could be on the water out here too every day. You could paddleboard. There's kayaking. Uh, there's actually even uh, diving going on here. We have the yacht club around the corner, so there's youth sailing. Uh, they do regattas, and it's a fun get together for the kids. Fish too. Fish too. Yes, okay. you can do guided fishing. Okay. Uh, they have guided fishing trips out here. A lot of times when I'm on this dam uh, in the mornings for my walk, there's there's a lot of fishermen in this little area right here. It's a very deep part of the lake, so there's striper fish. Uh, the white bass will spawn, and they run along that channel right over there. So where do you go to eat, shop, and all that stuff in Canyon Lake? There's some great little uh, boutiques for shopping, kind of support local businesses. We have great dining. We have Gennaro's, of course, on the south side. Mm -hmm. They're opening a pizzeria on 2673 okay. it, it should be open the, in the next month or so okay. uh, they have this awesome pizza oven that they had made in naples and shipped down so it's going to be a great pizza place there's uh, wildflower for breakfast and mimosas we have uh, the burgers on the horseshoe up here we have mexican food just really anything that you want mm -hmm. tons of stuff to eat a great place that we have is a brookshire brothers grocery store they have beer and wine on tap texas local craft uh, mm -hmm. craft beers are there they have live music friday and saturday night so it's a great place to bring the family the grocery store actually has live music yes i mean well we're in live music country so they have a steak night so you can come yeah. out grab a beer get a steak uh, look at the water watch the sunset you can get wait a second you can roll up to this grocery store they have live music and they're Craft pulling beer. steaks off the pit. Yes. Are we far away from an HEB? Because I know the HEB Plus off 306, but that's that's a New Braunfels. So where's the closest huge grocery store? If you're on the north side of the lake, HEB is going to be located at 306 and I-35. Uh -huh. That's going to facilitate everybody on the north side of the lake. Okay. And if you're on the south side and need to run up to HEB, you go up to Spring Branch. And it's about 15 minutes. So what's the vibe, Robin, in Canyon Lake? So what, what type of people are moving here? What families, so retirees, what is it? Well, we have, um, now that we have more infrastructure here, we've got great schools. We've got a lot of families coming in. We do have a lot of military uh, personnel that either have PCS to San Antonio and decided that Canyon Lake is their final destination for retirement. So uh, we have a nice blend of, of a retirement community and, and lots of new families. Canyon Lake, we talk about everything it has to offer but it's still a little ways away from all of the action if you want to get to New Braunfels, Austin, or San Antonio. Is there anything in the works right now to maybe shorten or quicken those commute times? Uh, I do believe that there is uh, plans for 306 to expand all the way to I-10. Okay. That's going to bring a lot more convenience for our Houston travelers. They don't have to go through San Antonio. They can just come straight up 306 into the lake area. Uh, I know that TxDOT is planning on a super highway that's going to run 281 from south to north all the way up to Dallas. Well, guys, I'm hoping you're learning a thing or two about Canyon Lake, what it's like to live here. 
uh, his favorite hangout spots in real estate. If you want to know more information about New Braunfels or the Canyon Lake area, subscribe to our channel because we're putting out videos, relevant content every week about what it's like to actually live in these places. And if you're thinking about moving to the New Braunfels area or Canyon Lake, or you're thinking about selling your house in New Braunfels area or which is Canyon Lake as Canyon well. Lake. We would love to be a real estate resource of choice. You can email us, you can call us, or you can shoot us a text. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Wait, wait, wait. Well, before we go, oh, I have. I Izzy's have, got a question. I request. have one question. All right. Really okay. Quick. Okay. Where is downtown Canyon Lake? Downtown Canyon Lake is probably somewhere over there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs> 